everybody! Um, I am gonna show you something real quick, uh, just in case uh, you don't know. Um, so if you have a Vroid model or a 3D model where you use a VC face, um, there is actually something pretty cool you can use. As you can see, I have this little goopy boy, this little, this little friend of mine, um, and I'm gonna show you how you can do that. So you go to props over here, and I already added my props, but you can add like any picture, basically any file that's visual, I believe. Because um, I added a, a GIF earlier, and that worked as well. So, and it keeps the transparency if you have transparency. Um, so I'm going to show you like how to get these like cool wings and everything. So, um, <laughs> please ignore the shocked faces. My, I don't have my light, my normal light on. Okay, so we're gonna turn my VTuber around. And this boy, he's set um, to always face the front. So anytime I turn around my model, he's gonna turn with it. So we're gonna add these little wings, and they're gonna start off really small. But in this lower corner, it tells you how, like, what all you can do. So if you scroll the mouse wheel that will either shrink it or expand it so we're gonna make these wings pretty big and these were wings from another character another OC I have so I'm gonna say they're gonna be this big as you can see it actually clipped to my back you're gonna want that like if you're wanting it to follow a body part you're gonna want it to clip like that and hopefully don't accidentally move it like I just did so click make sure you're out of the hitbox and we're going to turn my character around if I remember how to do that <laughs> if you middle click that will toggle whether or not it stays to the front so we're gonna actually move my character back around <laughs> um, and try this again so we're wanting it to clip to the back middle click okay it's clipping and you see you see my like avatar clipping through it so that is probably a good sign <laughs> um, and whenever you turn your model it's gonna look weird as well but most vtubers uh, are from the front anyway, so it's fine uh, Now my little boy is attached to my hair, but I want it attached to my uh, shoulder Now it won't move all weird uh, But yeah, so now I have little wings So if I had more movement on my character, it would be tracking Because uh, it's attached to my back um, Also, I have this little n note that I made And you can... Let's shrink it down a little bit. You can make it attach to your face and it will move with you. Um, but if you want it closer to your model, uh, you can actually hit settings and I'm going to turn so you can see it a little better. You can do distance to model and shrink it. So now it's like really close to my face, but if you want a little like it depends on like what you're wanting but yeah you can like have it attached to your face and it will it will move around um, let's see if I put it right here you can see it a little better that way but yeah so that's fun <laughs> and transparency uh, does um, stay so with these glasses, uh, these are my newer models glasses, and if I wanted to not use the glasses I'm currently using, I could use these. I would just attach it to my face, and then they would follow my face. It's not like perfect, like it would be with like a 3D and also, oh, oopsies. Uh, these are kind of like at a different angle than my current model. You'd have to draw them uh, straight forward and then put them on your face. Uh, but yeah. So, have fun with your new props. <laughs> uh, 
it's very entertaining. Um, my little boy down here, he's gonna probably be in my streams if you wanted to watch my streams. But uh, y'all have y'all have a good day. All right. I am hoping to possibly make a short, short, short animatic soon. Um, okay, bye-bye. <laughs>